Hi everyone! This is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Malapit na ba ang yung board exam at gusto mong pumasa at mag-top? You're on the right video. Kasi today, I will give you 10 tips on how to, hindi lang pumasa, but to top your board exam. Usually, meron tayong 5 to 6 months to review for the board exam after nating mag-file sa PRC. From the moment you decide na magtitake ka ng board exam, dapat nasa mindset mo na nagpapasa ka at magtatop. Pero hindi tayo pwedeng puro isip lang. Dapat my actions. Let's go to tip number one. Una-una sa lahat, tingnan mo ang examination coverage mo. Specifically, yung table of specifications o yung TOS ng board exam mo. Then, Ilista mo lahat ng kailangan mong aralin before the board exam day. After nun, i-arrange mo from easiest to most difficult ang mga topics. Now, based on my own personal experience, unahin mo yung pinakamahirap sa'yo. Kung uunahin mo ang mga mahihirap na topics, malaki pa ang time mo to ask your teachers or your co-reviewers about this. After that, pwede ka nang pag-proceed sa mga easier na topics. Kung wala namang madaling topic sa'yo, it's okay. Laban lang! Tip ko na lang sa'yo is sundin mo yung program ng review center mo if you are in a review center or if self-review ka, you can just follow the table of specifications. Pwede siyang from largest ang coverage to the least coverage based sa yung TOS. Tip number two. Both of your mind and your body must be ready for the exam. Wag mo muna ng tipirin ang sarili mo sa food and vitamins. Aminin na natin na ang pag-review at at pag-take ng board exam ay napaka-stressful na phase ng ating life. Ang pinakakalaban natin while reviewing for the board exam is our mind. So, I need you to concretize your positive thoughts para to ang kumalaban sa mga negativities. For example, magsulat ka sa wall ng study area mo ng mga motivational quotes like one step at a time. You own your own success. Claim it. Pwede ring top one. At ito yung pinaka-favorite ko. Great job yesterday, do better today. Tip number three. Maximize your study period. Napakatagal pa ng five to six months for your board exam. Kaya you need to make each day count. Now how do we maximize our review period? You need to set your own routine or your study schedule. Mali yung ginawa ko guys is yung chunking na strategy. Hinati-hati ko yung buong araw sa iba't ibang time period. Pagdating ng 12 p.m., I stop first, nag-rest muna ako, and then I eat my lunch and relax my mind kasi parang masakit na yung utak ko at that time. Since enrolled po ako sa review center, our review starts at 6 p.m. Pagdating ng 6 p.m. until 10 p.m., I study with my review center. So, para po sa lahat ng interested ng aming review center, uh, the name of our review center is Falkulan Twins Review Center o FTRC. Ito po ay based sa Davao City na review center na napakarami na pong top-notchers at top one na mga na-produce na teachers. Maka maisip nyo na, ma'am, ang layo naman po ng Davao City. Uh, don't worry guys, meron pong ino-offer ang Falkulan Twins Review Center na online classes. At kahit po online classes siya, grabe pa rin po yung training para makaproduce ng high-quality teachers, passers, and of course, top-notchers. Okay, now, baka ma-ask nyo na hindi po kasi ako enrolled sa review center kasi wala po kaming pera. If you do self-review, so I suggest na yung 6 to 10 mo, hatiin mo siya sa dalawang period. Hindi ako natutulog agad after the review class at 10. 
Kasi alam ko, makakalimutan ko siya kung hindi ko siya i retain And I want you to do the same, guys. Kung meron kayong review center, huwag kayong pumayag na hanggang sa review center lang kayong mag-aaral. Study at home too. Kailangan may effort din tayo para sa ating board exam. Isang araw lang akong hindi nag-aral talaga. Kasi that day, yung day before your board exam is supposed to be and I highly suggest that you make it your rest day. Para maging well-rested ka at prepared for your board exam day. Uh, ginawa ko talaga siya for six months. I was able to get all line of nine in my ratings. Tip number four. Invest in a good review center. Kailangan ba talaga mag-review center? It's optional actually. Hindi po tinitingnan ng PRC kung nag-review center ka ba o hindi. But it's a big advantage compared sa mga nag-self-review lang. Yung review center po kasi natin, they are exposed to the type of questions na na-face ng kanilang previous reviewees. Hindi sila nag-lecture ng kung ano-ano lang. They actually design a program which makes you better prepared for your exam. Day. Marami po tayong mga review centers dito sa Pilipinas, pero kailangan pong meron tayong matalas na decision-making skills kung saan talaga tayo mag enroll Dapat yung review center is fit siya sa ating needs as a reviewee and also sa budget natin. Tip number five, drills, drills, drills. Hindi pwede na iisipin mo, ay napag-aralan ko na to, okay na. So meron pa akong apat na strategy na ginawa First is using note cards. Second, using Quizlet. Third is studying with a friend. And then fourth is using Microsoft PowerPoint. Okay. Yung first na ginawa ko is gumawa ako ng note cards. Yung note cards, para lang silang mga papel na sinulatan ko ng mga terms and then my definition. Then parang in-ring bind ko sila. Inattach ko sila sa isang using a ring binder. Then, piniflip-flip ko siya para mag-aral. So, kahit nakahiga lang po ako, or nasa jeep ako, o nasa mall ako, <laughs> pwede akong mag-review using my note cards. So, nag-memorize ako gamit yung note cards. Ikalawa kong ginamit is Quizlet. Mahilig kasi ako gamit ng laptop kasi I think kapag nag-laptop ako, feel na feel ko mag-review. So, I used Quizlet. Ito po yung link ng Quizlet. Sa Quizlet, you can make your own flashcards. Then, pwede kang gumawa ng mga words, and then definitions, and then mag-quiz ka. You can do yourself quiz. At kapag tinatamad ka magbasa, Quizlet can read for you. Mabasahin ni Quizlet ang question, and then you will give your answer. Ganun po yung Quizlet. I used Quizlet sa pag-study sa aking major kasi napakadami pong terms. If yung pinag-aaral mo na subject is marami siyang mga terms, I highly recommend using Quizlet. And third na strategy na ginawa ko is to study with a friend. Marami akong friends, guys. Pero I have this one friend na partner ko talaga siya sa pag-aaral. So kapag magkasama kami, hindi pwede mag-chika kami. Kailangan mag-aral kami. Then the last one, the fourth strategy na ginamit ko is to use Microsoft PowerPoint. Yung Microsoft PowerPoint, maganda siya kasi familiar siya to almost everyone. Ginamit ko yung PowerPoint to memorize the terms and the laws, the principles, the theories na na-cover namin sa aming exam. So, para siyang flashcards, pero mas madali siyang gamitin compared sa Quizlet. So, nagta-type lang ako ng question, then sa baba may answer, then nag-add ako ng mga animations, and then after ko ma-add lahat ng mga terms, pina-slideshow ko siya sa akin. Hindi siya kailangan maganda yung style, yung design. Ang importante, magagamit siya sa pag-review. Tip number six. Get tips from passers and top matchers. Kaya nga, di ba kayo nanunood ng video na ito kasi you want tips paano mapadali ang yung pag-take ng board exam. So, ginawa ko rin to guys, of course. Nagtanong ako, ano ba yung dapat kong gawin para pumasa ako agad? One take lang. Yun, di ba yun yung gusto natin? Isang take lang para matapos ng lahat. Lahat ng top matchers sa let na within my reach, tinanong ko sila. I asked them for advice. Paano ba ako mag-aaral? How will I maximize my time? Paano yung distractions mo manage? Especially Facebook. Nagtanong ako sa kanila kasi alam ko, pinagdaanan na nila ito. And I will learn so much from their experience. Tip number seven. Guys, memorize. Do not familiarize. Nung college tayo, sinasabi natin sa self natin na, ah, huwag na i-memorize. I-familiarize lang kasi hindi naman yan kailangan talaga i-memorize. 
No. Isa po itong common mistake while nagre-review ka for your board exam. Iba ang college mo sa board exam. Isang take ka lang dapat sa board exam kung gusto mo mag-proceed na to the next phase of your life. Kasi, kapag familiarize lang, pagdating sa exam date mo, tapos makakita ka ng familiar na question, sasabihin mo, ay, familiar naman to, pero hindi mo alam ang sagot kasi familiar lang. But if you memorize it, dire-diretsyo ka lang sa pagsagot. Okay, based on my experience, I memorized everything na kaya kong i-memorize sa general education. Kaya pagdating ko sa aking exam day, dire-diretsyo po ako sa pagsagot. Tip number eight, limit social media and games. Wala munang Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Friendster. Wala munang messenger for the next five to six months during your review period. Paano ililimit yung social media na within our reach lang yung phones namin? You can download apps to lock. Ilalock ng apps na yon ang Facebook mo, ang Instagram, ang mga games mo for a specific time. Pag hindi mo yung bet, pwede rin ibigay mo yung phone mo sa parents mo. Ibigay mo lang muna sa kanila para sila yung magbantay sa phone mo. At naging focused ka sa pag-aaral. Um, ano ba naman guys yung 5 to 6 months na sacrifice without social media and games kung magkakalisensya ka naman? Tip number 9. Keep your eyes on the prize. Para kanino ba yung mga ginagawa mo? Of course, it's for yourself first kasi gusto mong maging professional. Then, it's also for your family para makatulong ka rin sa pamilya mo. Tayo kasi ng mga Filipinos, we are very family-oriented. Lahat kaya natin gawin for our families. So kung pagod ka na mag-review for your exam, Remember your families. They are your number one supporters. Yung nagpapa, agaan ng lahat ng nararamdaman mo. If you want to get that extra bonus, ibig sabihin ko dito ay being a top notcher. Kailangan mo talaga ng motivate ang sarili mo. Then meron tayong mga schools na nagbibigay ng cash incentives para sa mga top notchers. Isa rin itong motivation para sa mga takers na makaka-receive ng mga cash prize in case mag-top sila sa board. Tip number 10. Start now. Kung hindi mo pa binuksan ang books mo o hindi ka pa nagbasa ng reviewers mo, this is your sign na magsimula na. You ask guidance from above na matulungan ka na magkaroon ng right mindset at focus para mag-review sa natitirang mga araw bago ang yung board exam date. And that's our tip number 10. Let's recap all the tips na ibinigay namin sa inyo before you take your board exam. Number 1, tingnan ang examination coverage. 2, prepare your mind and body. 3, maximize your review period. 4. Invest in a review center 5. Drills, drills, drills 6. Get tips from passers and top notchers 7. Memorize, do not familiarize 8. Limit social media and games 9. Keep your eyes on the prize At 10. Start now That ends our video for today Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!